This video shows the response of a double share bolted timber to steel connection. The connection was designed to fail by splitting in a non-ductile manner and is formed by two timber members attached to the sides of two structural steel plates by only two bolts on each side. The timber used in the test is a spruce class CL24, while mild steel is employed for the plates. A couple of high strength bolts pass through from one side to the other, transferring the tensile forces from the steel plates to the timber members through shear. The bolts are M12 grade 8.8. The loading diagram shows the tensile force applied on either end of the specimen. The steel plates will be pulled apart during testing, subjecting the entire joint to tensile action up to failure. Now, we are starting to apply tensile forces to the specimen. You can see some local deformations starting to appear around the bolts due to embedment. The failure is brittle, as expected, and involves a clear splitting of the wood around one bolt and a rocher failure around the other. If we zoom in on the bolts at one end, we can see these failures more clearly. The force displacement graph is roughly straight, since the deformation on the steel components is minimal. The connection has an ultimate capacity of about 46 kN. In practice, this type of failure modes should be prevented by allowing yielding in the steel components to happen before failure in the wood. This is one of the reasons behind the limits on the maximum and minimum distances imposed by codes. 